I would like to bring up Sanjay Rajan. Um, Sanjay has an amazing story, incredible business, and also writes haikus on a daily basis. So I'm sort of hoping this whole presentation is going to be in haiku format, but I might be making that up. So Sanjay, please take it away from here. Assalam, as they say in India, I'm calling in from Hyderabad, actually. As we are among foodies, I would say undoubtedly the best biryani in, in the world is made here, along with the amazing Irani chai. Uh, tasting is believing. These are two hallmarks of uh, my hometown. Anyway, back to why I'm here. Let's start with wicked problems. Next slide, please. In the last year, problems that uh, exist in society have been laid bare. We have two forms of pandemic right now. At the same time, COVID-19 as well as hunger pandemic. Our focus is on one issue, food insecurity. Globally, almost one in now with a nine is food insecure. And in US, over 50 million people are food insecure. Next slide, please. And in Native American lands, the focus of Cone Beach, all federally recognized nations are deemed food deserts. Next slide, please. At Cone Beach, we believe in localized food production is critical to addressing uh, food security. Uh, and this is also the best form of climate action. At Conveid, we are one, building a network of community microfarms in native lands, two, growing nutrient-dense traditional foods so that community members can become community stewards and social cultural entrepreneurs. Next slide, please. This makes them in charge of their own food security. Very appropriate is the name Conveid, a Creole word with origins in West Africa that means coming together for public commons and community good. Next slide, please. This is from a recent trip to Nespelum in state of Washington, site of our pilot. This is the land of the Confederated Cobalt Tribe, home to 12 bands of the Cobalt people. Uh, as you can see, it is really barren land. My colleagues here are taking measurements to convert and set up a microphone. We want to convert it into food for us, growing traditional food crops and regenerate the soil in the process. Next slide, please. So what are the community stewards will be the microphone managers get from Conveed? They will get one snap to grow geodesic structures with all the inputs to grow healthy nutrient dense uh, foods locally. We also provide smart farming technology and exciting carbon sequestration technology. Soil is the best form for an effective way to store carbon. That enables getting carbon credits and lets, to, lets us take climate action as well. Next slide, please. With every micro farm, Convit can create one social entrepreneur who can generate six jobs and who can feed 100 people nutrient-dense foods. Simply put, Convit is about designing for resiliency of the individual, the community, and the landscape. Next slide, please. We did a pretty detailed analysis uh, of our global food insecurity and went all the, day, all the way down from potential available market down to our target markets that I talked about. Next slide, please. Here is the gist of our market analysis. Beachhead markets is Native American lands. Second is uh, BIPOC uh, urban food deserts communities. Next slide, please. You may ask, uh, what is our business model? We are essentially in the B2G business. Our customers are tribal councils and local governments, wherein we enable growing healthy and nutrient dense foods. Things, think of it as a localized food production managed services. That's what we provide. We also make money from each micro farm through a sliding scale revenue share a model with community stewards. This is because traditional foods, uh, fruit, fruiting trees, and uh, commercial crops all have different uh, cycles of growth. Next slide, please. We have audacious goals. We want to get to 1,000 different micro farms by end of year five. We see revenues to be around 300 million by year five. Next slide, please. We have eclectic, uh, smart, a smart mix of uh, folks, uh, both team members as well as, next slide, please, advisors to drive changes in our food systems and further convict. Next slide, please. Since launch in 2020, we've had amazing traction. One, we got, uh, I'm gonna highlight just four. One is the USDA SBAR phase one grant to further our unique business model. Two is a three-year partnership with Enrel to further agri vortex. Three, we were recently a winner at Greater Colorado Venture Fund. And recently we were featured also in Ag Innovation Showcase. Next slide, please. Our ask is investment as part of the pre-seed round from impact investors who believe in changing the world while owning a pie of the profitable business as well. Our lead investor is the fund.vc of the Rockies. Next slide, please. Forecast is that the global COVID-19 pandemic and hunger pandemic 
will worsen in the near future and beyond. We want to elevate this problem pandemic of uh, uh, hunger now and into the future. Next slide, please. As many of the elders we talk to say, food is spirituality. In Co at Conveed, we believe this as well. So let's make a difference in the Native American lands and across the uh, BIPOC urban communities food, uh, so that the food deserts can be converted to food farms. Lem Limt, thank you, as they say in the Salish language. Cheers. Amazing, Sanjay. I love you taking the business language of total addressable market size and putting a spin on it and saying that is food deserts. What a beautiful and amazing business. So inviting now our feedback panel up, Ali and Adrian. Sanjay, thank you so much and, and what a great idea. I'm curious thank to you. learn more about how do you help design the crop rotation patterns in different geographies and how do you help uh, farmers get up that learning curve and problem solve throughout their growing journey? Yeah, that's a great question. We actually are blending, the five things we do, one of the things we do is actually do a blend of ancient uh, wisdom, indigenous knowledge that uh, elders have, combine that with circular bioeconomy principles. And tied to that, we also have uh, a book for reference, which is called the Native American Food Dictionary. Um, so that has really played a role. We can figure out if it's the Navajo, what are the traditional foods, Pretty much you have a history of all the foods that we use and think in terms of polyculture, not monoculture. So uh, both inside the geodesic dome as well as outside when we go to the phenology cycle of nature, uh, we're going to grow plants uh, that all sort of have a guild-based practice of sort of just like three sisters, right? Plants that actually have a symbiotic relationship. That is very much something we want to focus on. This is also going to help revive some of the traditions which unfortunately have been getting lost. So the social entrepreneurs who primarily we feel will be women will actually take on the um, sort of the charge in sort of leading the change that is going to amplify across the various uh, banks. That's amazing. Ali, over to you. I'm wondering about what I'm assuming is going to be a need for on the ground kind of technical assistance, um, particularly to address a technological divide, which I am assuming exists. And I'm wondering about your, your model um, in terms of being able to, to provide that on the ground assistance. You'll be actually surprised in Native American lands. Almost everybody does have a smartphone. The only issue is they go in and out of service. So one of the interesting thing is we actually have uh, are in discussions with NEON, which is observatory network, um, part of NCAR UCAR to enable to set up actually more um, mobile LoRa networks uh, that because we have a smart farming technology. So we envision these micro farms will essentially become the hub that independent of you having um, a, a, a signal or not, you sh still can get signal from the farm. So the actual social entrepreneur can see the information. Uh, one other beautiful thing we're doing is we're actually working directly with uh, students uh, from uh, what were pre previously uh, boarding schools that have now become Indian cultural schools. Thank you so, so much. That was incredible. 